Hi there. So this video let's do uh, a review of what we have done now with XFLR5. But reminder that at the end uh, we want to design the wind, but that wind needs to generate the required leaf. Okay, that is the most important requirement. Then we have these requirements that we want to do things in an efficient way, meaning low drag, total drag, that you can split then induce drag and you have also low viscous drag. Okay, so the one that it from an aerodynamic point of view that we can uh, th th that we can control is induced drag. So that is the idea that the idea designing also the wind that you want a, a leaf distribution as close as possible as the elliptical one because we have seen from the theoretical results but also numerical and in practice that uh, that the elliptical one gives you the minimum induced drag. But matter of fact, but getting that elliptical leaf distribution is not quite easy. And also here I show you. A few winds and see that we have now the the red line this one represents the, the ideal elliptical distribution and then we have rectangular wind which is this green line okay then we have two different tapered winds and see that according to the taper ratio the distribution change okay so the one that probably gets closer is the orange one that have a taper ratio something about 0 0.33 one third and see that it gets very close Towards the tip in the outward part, in the outward part of the wind, but then in the inner part, it's a little bit different. Instead, the one with the taper ratio of 0 0.6, 0 0.6 is very close in the inner part, but in the outlet part, it's not very good. Instead, the rectangular so is quite different. So remember that the 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 induced drag is related to the thick vortex, and that we have it in, in this trend. So it, it so it's natural to think that we want. To approximate the elliptical leaf distribution but it is enough to do it just in the outward part so probably you manage to get something about 20 percent of that distribution close to the elliptical one it is already a good job it's very tricky to get it also in the inner part you will need to start to, to play with uh, with the core length and twist angle and probably adding aerodynamic twist if so it can be it can be very tricky and also maybe you will realize those two things the only way that you will approximate complete these elliptical distributions by getting uh an elliptical wind platform okay you will need in x in xflr5 you will need to add different sections to control that or by adding wash out, wash in in the internal part and wash out so you add a little bit washing and you control that one and adding washing is not it's not it's not recommended so remember that designing the wind you need the required lift close to the to zero zero degrees okay it's in optimal condition and also probably just the outward part like 20 or 40 percent of the outward parts that is falling with that elliptical leaf distribution is good enough uh, and also a reminder that we need to control also this tall characteristic of that view when so for instance here we have in this one we have two two wins same taper ratio but see that when you have a taper ratio below a below 0 0.6 the wind start to become now very loaded in the tips okay so this means that it will stall first okay so here attention we're looking at the lift coefficient so to control this one what we do is just reduce the angle of, of attack uh, at the tip okay and now we're in a good design condition so see that it's not stalling anymore here now in the inner part of course we're affecting the lift curve slope and everything so probably we'll need to change the incidence angle or the angle of attack to, to get the right lift but these are variations that are very small we're talking about one degree half a degree okay it's not since that you will see five degrees it's very small variations okay so these are the basic tips now to design your win so that being said let me launch uh here the program i will open uh a file that i already created the wins there just to to review so like, let me go here we have different wind platform okay so already run several cases so i just want to to show you for instance let's let's say that let's start with the classic rectangular wind okay so remember that always you go here in the in each of this here in graphic you can change how you you visualize everything i like to use this all right this is okay five views so if you right click you can change 
uh, what you see. So let's do this one. Let me put here define graph and let me go CL CD. Okay, this is the polar. Okay, we have the polar for this one. Let me save. So here you see that we have alpha and we have the force. We don't have leaf interesting the force. And let's see, put, uh, make this uh, assumption uh, that uh, our target is 4,000 newtons, okay, for leaf. So we'll see that in this condition, we need to be about 0 0.8 degrees, okay. So see also that we have this particular node, the leaf curve, curve is low. So remember, by default, it's computing in 0, 0, 0, okay. So it's here, then here you will have the center of pressure, aerodynamic center, everything that you, you, you have defined here, okay, you will find all those values there. So it's always always a good idea to look at this one, but this one is strongly depends now and the strongly depends in the airfoil shows. I will show you later how this will change with, with another airfoil. LD also remember that we want the maximum as close as possible to our cruise condition. Here we're saying that it's also about 0 0.8 degrees. And see that here probably is not there, but it's close. It's different of one degree, it's not that bad. Okay, and um, well, let's see what we have here. See here, probably we can do another plot. I don't know what comes to my mind. Okay, let's do the classical here. You go current graph it, define graph it. And let me go alpha CD viscous. Okay, so here with the CD viscous, we can take a look at the only the viscous parts and we, we can see we have this drag bucket here we're using a 2412 okay so we shouldn't have that this effects is just the three-dimensional wind and the interpolation that so this is it how you do it and to remind you that for instance you want to create a new wind or a new airplane you have it here define new plane and we're just focused here in only the wind so disable everything but here you can design your whole stuff if you want to add the body you'll have it there not going into details that you have the new win and then define and just set up the win. So let me enter here. Okay, no, I don't want to save and to show you what I have in this rectangular win. Okay, so if you go to edit win, so see that I designed it a very simple win. So all the wins that I designed it here, we have the same same minus span, so five ten will be the the. the the span and we're using this airfoil. So remember that the airfoil when wrong with the LLT, we need to run for all the Reynolds numbers that the wind is going to see. So here already know the, this is a constant core, so it's quite easy to run that one. So a good idea to get the upper and lower value, you know, uh, both the, the one that you have with that uh, we and you do an increment of a hundred thousand. So if the value is three million do 3.1 and 2.9 million, okay, just to get a good interpolation. So see that we have no twist, nothing. Okay, so what we're interested, we have the performance of this one. We go here and let's say that I want to visualize for one degree. And here you have, remember that you can always go graph, plot everything, you have all the plots. So let me put it here, okay, to have all the plots. You press R and use fit to screen okay let me go here and this is the one that we're interested or probably better we go if i press four i have it here and remember to see this the elliptical curve right click show target and you put here max local cl and select this one and you will have that reference curve there okay so you have different ways different curve okay you can put like this okay it's up to you So at this point, I'm using this uh, this one here, this one my so CL, just to have it starting from that point. So see that the problem with this rectangular one that is producing too much here, okay? So what we can do to control this in the rectangular wing, we can go and add a little bit twist to reduce that one. So that is what we have in the second one that I have here, twist. So I open here again and edit this, the, the win here. See that you have the values and just add a twist from one to minus one, okay? And if we plot this one for one C, da, 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 da. okay, why, okay. Enable here and now I can see the value. See that now is a quite good 
okay win so if we compare this one with the other ones see that we're producing too much towards the tips okay here now this one by adding that twist and this is already okay this is towards the tip as i mentioned that you want here the the, the elliptical close to elliptical leaf distribution just to reduce intensity there okay so also probably would be better here to use the maximum wind cl okay and we can compare with this one here so see here that we have excess here you change a little bit the twist and see that now you control so this is this is already a pretty good uh a pretty good uh distribution and the next case this is a twist too just to show you i go here and we go into the win and see that i added a new section at 2.5 now by looking at the previous case and let me go back here so kind of in 2.5 see that I, i'm below this is probably the largest difference so let's see how we can control that so what i did here was that another section there and look at that now i'm controlling the progression of twists like this from 1 to 0 0.5 and then from 0 0.5 to 1 so it's a gentle twist here geometric twist and then i have kind of a a larger twist here going to a negative value we can reach maybe this NFET adding aerodynamic twist so you will need to add the new airfoil and that's all so if i plot this result now at one need to visualize here one see that is a very very good uh, approximation of elliptical curve so this is what we want at the end of the day something close it's very difficult to get it uh, in the internal part now and this is one case you know, as you see this is that the rectangular wind is the only one that you can get this kind of, of results okay if we, when you have taper it's very difficult to have it okay uh so for instance this one is the only one that you can have the elliptical one in leaf but also you can have it uh when it comes to the to the coefficient so see that the coefficient also can get that elliptical behavior and actually and the circulation also so the, the recirculation is related to leaf now so you look at the kutajakonsky theory see that it's related so see that this leaf is already elliptical circulation will be as well and what is interesting is also that in this plot you have also the induced angle okay so remember that this is basically at the end of the day that what we want to do as you recall from the theory elliptical wind the induced angle the downwash okay it is constant and see that here kind of is constant you have these jumps due to the changes that we have added but see that it's very constant and then in the tip here is that we goes large and this is the one that is responsible enough for, for that tip so this is what we want to minimize so if we compare all these let me go the twist one see that what happened here so see that the intensity here is at 1.6 and here by adding this one Okay, it's about the same, a little bit smaller, but we have better control here. But if we compare with the base wind, see that the rectangular wind, it generates, the, the one with nothing it generates uh, a very large uh, thick vortices. We have a very large uh, induced angle. Okay, so it's about 0 0.4 in the inner part and 2.2 .2 in the outer, so it's very large. So see here that even this one is larger in the inner part, but not that much, but then it's much slower here. And then the other ones is that we keep it constant so you might wonder why okay this wind uh they have a problem now because most of the time you're going to see that this rectangular platform is, is uses a, lo a lot in a special especially in, in general aviation aircraft like this example that we did the shadow key piper and they don't add uh any twist nothing so you might wonder why that win uh, that kind of win is widely used and the reason is that it's very easy to manufacture you don't have you don't need to add any twist anything very easy to manufacture okay it's just that so sometimes the final decision is also is not only based on the aerodynamic performance you, you will have also on other factors that can influence the final decision okay so see that this is the airplane and you have here the characteristic no twist just the incidence angle at the, at, the, at the tip okay so maybe you can say that the original one is not good and you go for this one and you get a better behavior but now let's do the exactly same win and we add taper ratio so it will be this case and let me show you well here i can show you so this is the win let me hide all this here 
Okay, well, it's this one. See that we are adding some taper. The taper is 0 0.4. That the value. Recall also that this is a theoretical result, and we have some plots here that the ideal value is something, something there. Okay, 0 0.4, 0 0.3, probably 0 0.5. Okay, to get the minimum induced factor. So this is all. We have the same win and the base one no twist at all uh before showing you the results let me do the comparison here of these three rectangular so see that we are targeting for uh four thousand so see different widths, different values we have something and this one that we are added the twist at the root see that this one now we require a lower value to reach that that quantity and obviously if we compare now the polars you will see different behavior so so for the same leaf Okay, so here we have a crossover point. Okay, mean that here, this one starts to, for the same leaf, so you go here, for instance, 0 0.24 for this leaf, the gray one produced less, see the total. Then also you can do that, that subdivision all using the induced drag. So here in viscous, you can check also, for one degree, the gray one produced less, or we can visualize also here, the uh, bam, 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 bam. let me go here define graphic instead of the viscous induced drag okay so actually see that actually the gray one in this case for a given angle of attack producing a little bit more induced drag than the other okay but remember that produce more leaves so it, 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 it is <clears throat> a compromise between everything so for an angle of one this one is producing more leaf so it is expected that the induced drag will be larger okay so it's always a balance or uh -uh. so but from the theoretical result for the distribution the gray one is the one that should produce it, the smallest thick borders so now let's take a look at the new win and the taper so if i go here edit win see that we just modify this I added my taper ratio, I added this value, the offset, offset. This is mainly visual, okay? The LLT method, probably the nonlinear method implemented here would see some effect. But generally speaking, the LLT method without any of those specific corrections, this sweat angle won't have any, any, any large effect. No twist, the standard airfoil. And you just run the simulation but now it's interesting going to taper when you s define your analysis and by the way we're running all these cases for a for a same velocity okay so this is a condition that we know the velocity in the next video we'll show you that sometimes it might happen that you know the velocity you have just you know the weight approximation of weight whatever and now you want to get that velocity so you can get an idea that you, you can do many analysis at 30 40 50 60 and construct all these polars but there is another command that you can do a batch analysis that you will see here for instance the, you fix the angle of attack and then here you will change velocity so we'll show you that and you can construct everything in function now it's velocity okay now velocity is constant see that it's telling you that you have all these Reynolds numbers so you have to be sure when you generate your win that you need to cover everything Okay, so see that I have already my Reynolds, so that you can do a, a batch analysis here and you need to construct this table, okay? It's manually, it's done manually. Uh, honestly, I, I don't see how to do it automatically. If you find a way, please let me know. But one thing that when you do it to, uh, once, this stays safe. So if I later close this program, I will get the same table. I'm, most of the time you, you need to have all this rain or so you can do it manually from i don't know from half a million to 10 million and you're going to have all the table there to run in parallel is like this so in my case i have 12 threads and you chose shows here six and there is no 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 problem here so i go you go analyze and you will r run everything i'm not clicking there because i already have my reynolds and you go to the wind design and you do your taper wind so see that now i put it here and let's see the results so one thing that also i want to point out here that i mentioned that the wind 
tends to inherit all the properties of the airflow. So if you check your 2D airflow, you will see that the point that when it's, you get the, the angle of attack for zero leaf is something about here. So see that they are all centered here. This one is a little bit different. Remember that we changed the twist and everything. So you have that shifting, but clearly you see here that it's inheriting a lot of information, but see that taper also have an effect that will reduce you know, your curve leaf and stop. Since that might be evident, you have different surfaces. You know that effect you you, you 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 will see it here so now in this case you want to force your target four thousand newtons so that now you need to go a little bit higher 1.8 remind you that here we, we don't have any incidence or setting angle at the root so as you put a setting angle there things would get better but we can check here for instance you go now and look at this is a red, red curve so for a given leaf coefficient now this one is producing left in the less induced dra drag land than the other curves. Okay, so now you can look at these plots in that way. Also, you can see here that for a given alpha, this one, the red one, is always the best one that you have there. Also, see that in the LD we have a good effect there. So I see that by simple adding the taper and that conceptual result, that theoretical results, we, we, we improve a lot since without doing a strange, strange things. And now if we go to this distribution, spam wise distribution, and let's go to one, see what we have. Okay, so let me go the base rectangular, which is this one. Okay, you have the distribution here, local leaf. This is, and if I go to the taper, see that what we have is very damn close to to the elliptical one. Just by adding taper, no twist, nothing. The only thing that we have here now is you look at the CL, is that maybe where this tall is very close to, to, to the to the tips of the wind, so probably we can add a small twist and shift this in bore to avoid that problem. But if I go here, four, five, four. Perfect. See that this is very, very, very close. This is already a very good solution. We can, okay, improve it a little bit. Okay, so how to improve that one? The first thing is that we can add the twist to avoid the problem, this problem, CL. See that here we'll have the tendency to stall first. So as you go, you add the, that new twist. So let me show you the geometry here. See that we, I didn't do anything, same, but just the twist, one degree. Okay, one degree, and I plot my results for one. Graph everything, okay, and let me put here. Okay, I need to show also. So that now we have this. Okay, and look at first the CL. Okay, so now let me go individual CL. See that now we shifted. Now it's not installed at first here, it's something more inboard. As we look at here, local leaf, it's still good. See, remember that it's very difficult, as I mentioned, that to get it elliptical, unless you get an elliptical platform or you work for, for using the you were using the rectangular platform. This is very tricky to get it very close to elliptical. And think it's since it get worse when you go high speed that you have this setback angle things get even worse. So we're just focused that we want towards the tip. So probably 20% of the span is you manage to get it elliptical is enough. Okay, so our semi span here is five. So as you get one meter close, I think it will be a very good result. Okay, you are reducing the intensity. But see that this is the idea. Here, see that it's very good results. Okay, very close to the elliptical. So this can be controlled, okay, by uh, by adding twists, you also, one result when you start to play with the twist, you will realize, see that here, you are not producing enough leaf, so you will have, you no, know, you will be tempted to increase the angle of attack. So as you increase the angle of attack that is washing, it's not recommended, but as you increase angle of attack, you will get closer here, and here you will be to decrease. So it will be a, a strange win, no? So down wash here, then wash in here, and then you go wash out. The other solution is changing the the wind core so you can change the, the wind core so you increase here a little bit a little bit and decrease a little bit but you see when you start to do those modifications you will be approximating a elliptical wind so let's just stay away from that one so if you want to add sections like for instance a section and three and one it's just to control the twist angle 
Uh, and the idea is just to get it as close as possible in the outward part of your, of your span. And if we check and, okay, so let me go to the polars. Okay, so if we go to the polars here, and let me fix the screen and everything. This is what we have. Okay, so let me change the color of this one. Okay, to avoid confusion. Uh, so let me use this one. So see that now the, the new one, this is what we have. Okay, so it's a much better result. Okay, than the red one with watch the base ones. So in this case for 4,000, see that we improve it a lot by adding that twist. So now about one degree, this is a very good cruise condition. Okay, and close to this one. And see that very small uh, <clears throat> differences in angle of attack I require, like 0 0.5, 0 0.8, to, to, to reach those conditions, okay? It's strange when you need to do something from zero to three, it's very strange. And this is what we have. Also see that there is an effect in the moment, changing the slope, okay? But this is later, we're going to see in a very strong difference when I show you a new airfoil. And this is okay. This is already a, a good design win, okay? This is something that you can use, you can propose, okay? And if we look here in this drag, okay, so see that in this specific wind, now this new tapered wind that you are, we are proposing for the same angle of attack, let's say one, one degree produce more lift, uh, more in this drag than the standard one, but this is clear because for one degree, this one produces more lift. More lift means more in, the, in this drag, okay, so you should look uh, here in this polar for the leaf coefficient. So see that it produces a little bit more because we're producing leaf, more leaf, but see that it produce, produce less induced drag than the others, okay? Then you have here this crossover point, okay, where the performance get worse, okay? But these are usually our operating conditions will be somewhere here. And the final one is that one, this one that we added more twists, a second twist, okay, a new section to control more things. So see that here, the effect now, okay, since get water a better in terms of the trim condition for the lift, so a 4,000, see that now we're in 0 0.8, close to the rectangular ones. Okay, so you should see here the progression. So by adding that twist, we're shifting here, but getting better in lift. Still, we're producing more induced drag because we're producing more lift, okay? But if you look at here, it is okay. So what we did in this case, it was very simple. Edit win, and now a new section. So see that I added a new section. I didn't change the core, okay? I kept the same linear progression in core. I just changed this angle. So see that a very gentle twisting from one degree to zero nine, and then here I went aggressive to zero to control all the characteristics. And if I look here, let's see what we have, uh, one degree. Okay, perfect. See that this is a very good distribution that we have here. Okay, it still, it might be, you, you might think, it can be better probably adding another section, some control there, but this is already a good, a, a good result, okay? So this is what you need to do for the wind design. Then uh, let's plot everything. Look at, at the induced angle also. So we reduce it here, low angle, then at the tips it's not large and you can control with the other one. So remember this induced angle, the down watch, the one that at the tips you want to reduce it because this is directly related to the intensity of that wind tip vortex and that it will produce that increase that induced drag. So see in this case, it's very large, that induced drag here in this, see that we reduce it a lot. Okay, so this is it. This is how you do it. And just to show, show you the new the new airfoil and to remind you to how to read an airfoil. So the airfoil to read, the airfoil that you need to read here is exactly the same format as the one used in Eggfoil. Okay, so every uh, airfoil that we, we use in Eggfoil, you can read it, but it has to be exactly the same format. So you should, uh, let me say in my case, I have, uh, the Air Force here, so, so you open one of these, you will see that it's exactly the same form of an egg fold. So to read that Air Force, you go here, open, look at the folder where you have the Air Force, and I, I will read this, this Air Force. And that's it. You go to Egg Fold Direct Analysis, Air Force Direct Analysis, and you have your Air Force there. So 
here this is the airfoil so we have the model also did it for design that you can look at uh, the airfoil that you have there in both or so so that and you can hide as well do not show and here also it's very handy now this model because you can also change points okay it's like the g g this model and egg foil okay i don't recommend you to do that but okay direct foil analysis let's go here egg foil direct analysis and let's run for this airfoil okay at the Reynolds number so you will see that here batch analysis you have already the table so we want to run for this airfoil analyze and let's get all the polars so see that it's running every Reynolds number for all this alpha and it's populating the table here a lot of results and using six cores okay so it's running parallel it's quite fast I would save okay so it's a good idea to save and now see that you have all your rain now see that there are different behaviors okay both airfoil but let me go back to wind design and let me show you for instance let me pick up one wind I, I will I take the rectangular one so I will hide everything and I will change the rectangular one so see that I will duplicate this case I will call it new wind give it a name edit and you can edit the whole definition and then you go into the win okay and read the new airfoil that's all and actually you can use aerodynamic twist if an airfoil so we put this in and i just put there the new airfoil and i'm ready to run save and let me run this case before running define the analysis define analysis so you can do right click or analysis define analysis okay so we have fixed velocity later i will show you the other options uh remember also that here you can change aerodynamical data you no know, density viscosity you can give inertia choose the type of analysis for your moment where focus is lt will also show a little bit the vortex latex that's all so let me press save and we're ready to run here so usually we'll run in these angles okay it's the linear regime you know, for the for the wind we're not interested in the, the stall that stuff analyze and this is it we have some results here okay and but i'm interested in going here and what it's what i want to show you in this case okay it is new wind okay rectangular wind. so your rectangular wind and the new wind so we are using a different uh, airfoil and we don't see I don't see the effect here or probably what happened so this airfoil it has a very low moment so it doesn't have that strong effect here is can be classified as uh let me go back here probably this is so look at the moment it is a cell stabilizing airfoil so see here that the moment can go positive but very close to to zero but for some reason here it gave me this one uh, 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 probably shows but this is a, an interesting characteristic of this airfoil okay it's a self stabilizing and if you use some this very specific airfoil you will see the this the, the the specific behavior here that the moment is, is is changing probably for this kind of wind that we're using doesn't have an effect so let me go and see if the taper wind we see that clear effect so duplicate i call it duplicate give it whatever name i want and i just i want to edit that one and the only thing that i need to change here it is this okay so new perfect yeah i think it's the taper one should work uh should have a different result define analysis this is okay analyze um, ta -ta, ta -ta. so we have the taper and the base taper and this is what we have okay so yeah it didn't have a very strong effect probably shows the the, the, the wrong file but just to i show you know how to read uh, a new a new airfoil put it there duplicate the case and very easy then you can change the parameters for instance you see that that air for that here kind of here you can see this is a drag bucket here and you see we have the 
the influence here. So then also remember that you can visualize like this using the LLT, you, you pick up an angle and then you can select now this option, but this is just visual now. This is by, by no means is a direct representation, nothing. Okay, so you can do it as well there. Then also the other thing that I've, before ending that I want to show you is you go here, analysis, okay, you can define analysis, Okay, give it a new name, I could, okay, well, I don't need it, we'll put it automatic, and you can choose a new method, okay, so the LLT is this quite simple theory, okay, it's a non-linear LLT that takes uh, all the data from the airfoil and then you know, superimpose a single bound vortex and, and add the effect of the downwash. Then we have the vortex that it met, meta, okay, so it is a panel, kind of a panel method, but it takes only the curvatures, the cambering effects, and this one is the whole surface. So I recommend you also the vortex additive methods. They are very efficient, but I don't recommend you to use it in viscous mode. Okay, this is a correction added. All these methods are, are, are in basic, so the viscous is a correction. That, honestly, I think is it doesn't work very well, at least here in Excel, Excel R5. So disable this one, and you are ready to run also using the vortex latex. So in vortex latex, you only need to do, to run the polars. You only need to define the airfoil. And just to show you, when you define the airfoil, uh, the solver comp automatically computes the camber line. See so that this is the airfoil camber line, and then it will put this panel there, and it will compute you now your your circulation, and then get the lift. And this is what we have. Okay, you have a delta p a here, a different, and then you can have your polar. Okay, so our new result here, and let's see what color it should be this here. Let me change color here. So then I put it white. Well, white is not very visible. Uh, this one. Okay, we have it there. So see that new method. The difference here is obvious that it's, remember here we don't have the viscous component. So you can see here that. This is a correction. It's a CD0, recall for the equation, the equations, the polar. So you just can shift this one by a CD0. And very often we know that value, okay? You know, your clean wind have a DC, CD0 that you compute it when CL is zero. So CL zero, you know that the drag, everything is, is, is the skin friction drag. So you compute it as CL zero, shift this curve, and you are done. And very similar results. Okay, so that's all for for this review. Next video will show you how to do how to use the the other auctions, the other analysis, how to run some other types of analysis and define lift. So thank you for your attention and see you next time. Bye.